Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's May 24th. Here's a look at news making headlines today. A 14 year old boy is facing a second degree murder charge in the shooting death of a 16 year old girl. That girl was shot in the chest Sunday evening on East Willow Street in Lafayette. We spoke with one resident who witnessed the aftermath of the shooting while authorities were on the scene. She says more programs that interest kids should be provided in the area, as well as improvements on child and parental guidance. This did not happen during the curfew time. This happened prior to that, but there's a lot of violence that goes on after the curfew time. So I don't know if our city council needs to step up and do something or city police, they need to crack down more, but we as parents need to crack down on our children and also um, just get more involved. The community needs to get more involved. This is one of at least six cases of gun violence involving teenagers since mid-April in Lafayette Parish. The case is lifted, listed there on your screen, and the video you see there was last month's double shooting at Moore Park. In that case, two teenage girls were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. That same night, police say a 16-year-old girl was arrested for not, was, with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say she was in a car on Surrey Street when she was caught in the crossfire from another shooting. No serious injuries after a car crashed into a house causing a fire in Lafayette Parish that happening on Harold Road. Firefighters were able to bring the fire under control before a major fire caused damage to the house. The driver, Joshua Bloom, suffering minor injuries and is facing a number of charges, including first offense DWI. The click it or ticket campaign is back again this year for the next two weeks. Over 100 law enforcement agencies will be taking part, hoping to reduce seatbelt fatalities. It, it doesn't make sense not to wear it because, first off, it is the law. Second, it is the one thing that a person can do every time they get into a vehicle that can drastically reduce the chances of them being involved in a serious injury or fatal, fatal crash. And you don't need any help doing it. You get in, you put your seatbelt on, and you have a, first abided by the law and put yourself in the best position to survive a serious crash. Well, temperatures today are getting up to about 86 degrees. We've got a round of widely scattered showers and a couple thunderstorms that are going to be out there. A lot of that kind of starts late morning into early afternoon, popping up, coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So we got to keep an eye on the radar today. A 60% chance for some of that rain, mostly cloudy skies. The remainder of the day, though, more rainfall on the way, by the way, tomorrow. So we are going to see probably a wetter day coming up there through the middle of the week and then finally starting to clear out by the time we get to Thursday. Some showers maybe early in the morning, but progressively more and more sunshine. Good looking weekend coming up as we head into Memorial Day. Drier conditions on the way, nice and sunny all the way through the rest of this weekend.